Have you ever wondered how fan-made video creators create this kind of anime scenes from this? To this. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to make the outline glow anime effect here in Filmora 11. Okay, to start off, I already downloaded one simple JF clip from Jujutsu Kaisen and let's just put it here on the timeline. To simply key in all the effects that we need, first thing that we need to do is to apply the outline of the actual subject of the clip. So let me just look for the spot we're in where we can add in the outline effect. Somewhere around in this area. Pagbukas ng mata mismo. And now, we need to copy this clip and apply it here. And do the same thing over the other timeline. So, dito ngayon papasok yung magiging outline effect natin. Let's just delete this one. And now, what we're going to look for on the effects panel would be the pixelated edges. So, just drag this effect onto the second layer. What you will notice on the previous side, ay eh, nagkaroon tayo ngayon ng outline doon sa mga edges nung drawing ng no anime natin. So, you can also choose your preferred color. So, on the pixelated edges, I, let's just say I wanted to do... Okay, sabihin na natin color blue. Para mag-stand out ngayon siya. Since yung buong clip natin kasi, yung mismo background kasi nung medium shot nung clip na to is roughly around orange-red. So, para mag-stand out ngayon yung outline natin. Next, we'll have to go to the compositing and click difference so now what you see on the preview side naka outline ngayon yung color blue natin dun sa mismong subject now that we have already applied the blending mode into difference now let's export this simple clip right. and let's just name it outline glow effect okay okay now that we're done exporting this clip Let's apply it over here. And now, itong second timeline natin, we'll have to delete this one and apply yung outline glow effect natin. Same duration as the main one. So, what you see ngayon dun sa harap is that naka-outline ngayon siya. So, in order for you to bring back yung actual footage nito katulad nung nasa main timeline, we'll have to double-click the second line and from... The compositing na nakalagay siya earlier with difference, now we'll have to move it to screen. There. So, hindi pa masyadong kita ngayon yung outline niya, but you can actually notice na may outline na din siya, even if we are almost on the same clip. So, now, this time we're going to add the effects that we can add on to this clip, is to look for glow. And apply it here on the second clip on the timeline. Make it twice para mas maganda. There. So medyo evident na ngayon yung outline glow natin. Now we can add more animation to this effect. Para bigyan natin ngayon ng details ngayon yung powers na gagawin ngayon ng subject natin. So in order to separate these, once na mag-cross yung fingers ngayon, dun ngayon lalabas ngayon yung parang aura ng outline effect natin. So in order to do that, we'll have to use our keyframes. So, double-click the second line and go to Animation. And we need to put at least three keyframes. So, yun yung tatlong beses magbabago ngayon yung outline na effect natin. So, we'll have to add one keyframe on the beginning. And then, we'll have to put the other keyframe kapag nag-zoom out na siya. And the third one, by the time na matapos yung pag-cross ng fingers ng subject natin. So, here's where the magic happens. From the first keyframe, yung scale natin would be still at 100, but we'll have to the opacity roughly around 80, para medyo malabo pa ngayon yung outline niya. And this is how it would look like. 
medyo naka fade out ngayon yung outline effect. Now let's go to the second keyframe. This time, we'll have to enlarge the scaling ng outline natin. What we need to do is change the scale into let's just say around 120. So kung nakita nyo, lumabas ngayon yung outline niya from the main subject. And since hindi pa ito yung full potential ngayon ng powers niya, let's just roll down the opacity roughly around siguro mga 40 or mga 40, 45 to 50. Yan, pwede na yan, 50. What we're going to do is to add in more effect pagdating nung pag cross fingers niya, we'll have to scale up ngayon to 140. So, lalo ngayon nag-enlarge yung outline. And now, we'll have to adjust it siguro mga 90 para hindi overpowering ngayon yung outline niya. So, what we're trying to achieve here is tumabas ngayon yung aura ng character natin kapag gagamitin niya ngayon yung spell. Let's give it a shot silipin natin kung ano magiging itsura. Alright, from the first keyframe. And there you have it. This can be used best if you wanted to edit out some clips for anime videos. And I'm a fan of anime, that's why I tried to apply it here on this tutorial. So try it for yourself. Let me know in the comment section below kung maganda yung kinalabasa niya. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe button and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa lahat ng uploads ko in the upcoming weeks. And this has been Alex and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!